Green passes to ABC. They kick it out to Green. And here is Henry. And Juzang pulls it down. Juzang's got rebound number eight now on the night. And hard work on the glass once again, guys. And they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. They got Silk. Jay Crowder out there with ABC. And it's ABC. And it's Riley. And at the five, down low. Here's Green. After the Bruins picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's ABC. Riley covering. It goes. Bruins lead is cut down to nine in the bucket from ABC. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Here's ABC. Up and in on the layup. ABC's got five points now this quarter. And Greg, some star big men have complained that they get hand all game long. But they're not getting the foul calls these guards do on the perimeter. I have to agree. <laughs> I mean, and on a lot of those fouls, the guards get three free throws. So something the league might want to take a look at trying to balance things out. Here's Singleton following the three-point basket by Arizona. It's hauled in by Arizona. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. There's Green with the three. Rebound by Singleton. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And he drives in. Great T that time from Green. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Offensive rebound. Henry misses. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet the opposite happened. Now, here is Singleton. Stolen. And now, Arizona on the break. It goes. Bruins lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from ABC. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Timeout called the Bruins. And coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, ABC. And I would point to his shooting percentage as the key reason he's our pick. And that sounds simple, but he hasn't tried to do too much. He hasn't tried to force his shots. Just kind of waited and worked to get good looks. And in the end, he's found plenty of them. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to listen in on what the Bruins head coach was going over with his guys. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Thank you, David. Yeah, I like the fact that this team continues to fight and have clawed themselves back into a point where they're in striking distance. Timeout called the Bruins. They're up by three. 146 left to play in the final quarter. One forty-three left in the fourth quarter. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And a defender all over him. And a look now on how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bruins. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. And also, I think it's really led to the rhythm and confidence you've seen from long range tonight throughout the entire game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. Green against Kemp. Pass to ABC. 125 left to play here in the fourth. Down to five on the shot clock. Arizona needs to get off a shot. Here's Green. Oh, good on that one. 
That's one he knows he should have drained. Out to the right wing. Here's Campbell. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And the Bruins lead by seven. And so Green will bring it up for Arizona. Jay Crowder with the rebound. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Pass to Campbell. Some nice ball movement by the Bruins. Here's Juzang. And to get open is Johnson. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. At the line for your Bruins. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. It's just too big a deficit to come back from at this point. And you know, disappointment starts Time to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. Timeout called the Bruins. They lead by five. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's see who. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. It's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Hey fans, who wants a free T-shirt? Make some noise! Here's Green. And there's the pass to ABC. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And Jim gets the whistle that time. And so he's picked up his final five. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Obviously upset to have to take a seat here. But at this point, I don't think it'll have an impact. The game's probably out of reach anyway. Well, the Wildcats call time here. They're trailing by seven. Eight seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? Licking their wounds. It hasn't come together for them tonight. They are left picking up the remains of their game plan. Better luck next time. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. The tray off on that one. And so it's the Bruins winning this one.